last year, remember. Reed Man. Yes. In your in a fame column. You went to Concord, checked out the new facilities, <laughs> oh, yes. and said, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. Sat in the barber's chair. And said, Tigers are back, baby. Yeah. That Not went quite. Well. Didn't quite go well. All right. So last week, you had the first interview with Benji Marshall as West Tigers head coach. Mm. Um, I'm drinking the Kool-Aid again. You're back. Oh. I'm drinking the Kool-Aid again. You know, I tipped them in the top eight because of that column. Thanks for Did that. Did you? <laughs> I don't think I'll write a column this time. I was heavily I'm convinced. Only, I'm, I'm By reading cool it. Yeah. That's yeah. your first mistake. But, uh, yeah, mate, uh, you know, Benji, he's a confident guy, right? He's always been a conf- confident guy, great faith in his own ability, and he thinks he's going to turn him around. Look, he needs to sign some players, he knows that. Um, but the one thing he did say, well, there was a few things he said, obviously, but a few takeouts out of it. You know, last year they talked about throwing the ball around and being more, more attacking, and he said, we're not going to talk about that stuff this year. Thank you know? God. I don't want to hear the um, word. But he said, we're going to work harder than anyone in the preseason. And he said, you know, I want, I want guys who, who, who will compete, who are going to have a go. I want the word or 05 banned. Yeah. He did, you know what he has banned? Can't talk about the top four, top eight. So if any player gets asked, are you going to, going to make the top four or top eight this year? Benji Who's asking down. if they're making the top four? Well, someone might. Top four? Well, yeah, that might be a stretch. But did top say, eight. Did he say who, who was he going to start the year in the halves? He said it's a shootout. He's told them all, all three of them. So three of them, there's Sullivan, Caesar, Farnu, Farnu. Caesar. He and said, he mentioned the young kid too, Lockie Galvin. Lockie Galvin, yeah, he's impressed with him. But he said those three guys, those three guys are the main ones. It's a shootout. That's Whoever stands up in the preseason, they'll start in the opening game. So what? you left that interview, if you could leave one major takeaway with it, what is, what is it? That's a, that's a tough question, Mick. <laughs> well, what's what your, do you mean? What's, what's, what's your general, what, what's the vibe there? What's the Concord? vibe there? Oh, Give think, the Tigers I fans it, some hope. I think, they're op- I think there's optimism, right? Because, you know, it's a bit of a change in the guard. Benji's in there. They've got some young halves. They've got a bit of potential. Um, they need to do some work at the market. And they're, and they're doing that. By the CNG wrote the other week about the Justin Olam, Sean Bloor swap. Um, you know, I think at some point he'll speak to Justin Olam. That hasn't happened yet. Um, you know, Jerome Luai is a guy that they're... they're they're discussing behind the scenes whether they make an offer or not. I'm not sure they're going to go down that path yet, but they're certainly talking about Jerome Lua. So, um, you know, I think, I think, I think optimism's a word. But everyone's optimistic in November, right? Not Dragons fans. Where do you? Um, oh, wow. Do you think that was the best thing to do to talk about Jerome Lua when you've got all these young halves that are supposedly the future of the club? Well, uh, yeah. Well, what well, do you do if people ask about it? You, the, mm. the alternative is to lie. And when you start lying, you get caught out. You look and I've stupid. got no issue. You got Aiden Caesar's on the back end of his career. You got yeah. two young guys that haven't proven themselves yet. Maybe it's a little rocket up them saying, "Well, we know you signed good deals, but you're not guaranteed of anything." And he didn't say we are going out and getting him. We ju- he just said, "When good players come in the market, the good clubs consider them." And he said, "We're considering him." Where do they finish? I, I don't know whether they'll go after him. I, 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 I honestly couldn't get a real read on it. I think they're they're, they're definitely interesting, right? But it's just whether they're willing to pay the money to go and get him. I, I reckon it'd be, no offence, Matty, I reckon it'd be good to see him go to a club like that because yeah. then it's a genuine test of his superstar ability yeah. to go, okay, I'm the man, I've gone to the Tigers, I've got him into the finals. Yeah. And that would cement him so that'd get him out of yeah. any shadow, any other, you know, he, he's a good player, right? He's, yeah. You, you don't play... You, you don't perform the way he has and not be a good player. You guys are mates now, are you? <laughs> You've made up, haven't you? But... You're grog. 